everybody, it's Maria Willis from Card Bomb here for Tonic Studios, and today we're going to be making some fun projects using the new Happy Hibiscus Stamp Club release. This is a really fun set full of beautiful tropical flowers, um, and I can't wait to create with it. So let's head over to my desk and have a little fun together. Okay, let's take a closer look at this Happy Hibiscus Stamp and Die Bundle. This stamp set has quite a few stamps, but the primary stamp is this large image, which is what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to be using both the frame and the inner bouquet. There are coordinating dies for every stamp in the set, as well as some stitched rectangle and square dies and some large word dies. To begin making this card, I'm gonna get a piece of watercolor paper and put it inside of my Misty. I'm going to be heat embossing today, so I used my anti-static tool all over my watercolor cardstock to eliminate any pesky little bits of embossing powder that I don't want. Now I am stamping in embossing ink and covering my image with silver embossing powder. I'm now heating it both from the back and the front in order to melt the powder, and when it's done, it's going to look like this. Now I've grabbed my Aquaflow pens and put a little drip of each of them on the top of my glass mat. I'm adding a little bit of water below each of them so that it's easy for me to dilute the color if I want to. Now I'm going to paint vertical stripes starting in rainbow order and I'm just making sure that I overlap each color a little bit so that the colors blend smoothly together. Now I'm going to grab the die that cuts out the floral frame, which is the outer portion of this stamp. I aligned that with the, with the outer portion of the stamp and taped it down. Now I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. I'm pressing that tape down firmly before I put the paper between my plates just to make sure that nothing shifts. And after I die cut it, you can see that that centerpiece pops out. And as I remove my tape, I'm left with the outer frame perfectly cut. So that's what we're going to use for one of our cards. And then now we've got this center bouquet that we still need to cut out. And you can use the leaves on the side to help line it up. Now, there's not a lot to tape that to. So here's a little trick. I've gotten a piece of clear acrylic sheet and I'm going to die cut a piece of that clear acrylic sheet with the die. Then I'm going to use a little bit of repositionable, removable tape, and I'm gonna put that onto the inside of that acrylic piece. I'm going to lay that down right on top of my stamped image, exactly where I want to die cut it out. It's going to stick on and give me a guide so that I can die cut perfectly every single time. And it's also gonna prevent that die from moving. You could see how it kind of snapped into place. I know you couldn't hear it, but it really locked into place and didn't shift. So now I'm gonna tape that down to my cutting plate and run it through my die cut machine. Here it is. When we pull off that tape, you can see that it's cut exactly in alignment with that acrylic sheet, which is exactly where I wanted it to cut on my stamped image. So I've got a perfectly cut floral bouquet from the center of that original background stamp. Here's a look at those two pieces together. Off camera, I've already gone ahead and cut out the larger frame. I've cut that down to four and a quarter by five and a half so that it will fit perfectly on an A2 sized card. And now we're ready to go. So I've gotten another piece of watercolor paper and I've just used some blue and purple Aquaflow pens. Just I put a little bit of ink in a jar and I'm gonna just do a very light colored watercolor wash. Now I ended up going a little bit heavier with the color that I meant to, so I just use a paper towel to pick up some of the color. So if you go too heavy, don't worry about it. Just pick some up with a paper towel and make sure that you're happy with the contrast between your frame and the background. I'm going to be using this Happy Birthday Word Die as the centerpiece for my card, but I also wanted to add another little stamp in there. So I'm adding it to my card for placement. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that I figured out to make it really easy to line up these word dies every time. This is double-sided adhesive tape, and I'm putting it onto the back of the holographic paper that I want to use for the happy birthday. This basically turns my holographic paper into a sticker. This means that I won't have to use any glue, and I'll show you a trick for perfect alignment. So I'm going to tape my happy birthday die down onto the holographic paper and that halo die onto the black cardstock. Now when you're running these through your die cut machine, I recommend running them through vertically like this to get the best cut. Now I'm popping that happy birthday background out from the black cardstock and I'm peeling the happy birthday out of the holographic cardstock. You can see that it's sticking a little bit and that's just because it's now a sticker instead of basic cardstock. So I just peeled the back off of the sticker, being very careful to leave the die cut inside of the die even after I poked out all of the extra pieces that weren't needed. 
Now I'm going to align that die right on top of that background piece and use my pokey tool just to push through and adhere the sticker to the background piece. Now I can carefully peel that away and you can see that my sentiment is perfectly lined up and this trick will work every single time. It's a really great trick, especially for detailed die cuts. Now let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment onto our card and I just did that using my Misty and some permanent black ink. Now let's go ahead and take that out of the Misty and let me show you what all these pieces look like. They're not put together yet, but we are ready to start putting this card together. So let's grab a card base and adhere that watercolor wash background to it with some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. I'm going to line that up and press it down to make sure that it sticks well. I've already got foam tape on the back of my floral frame, so I'm just gonna put that down and it's gonna look really neat that it's popped up and has a little bit of dimension. Make sure that it's lined up and then press it down. And now I've got my happy birthday and that has foam adhesive on the back of it as well. I'm gonna put that at a little bit of an angle and I added some sequins and some sparkle splatter to the background as well. And this card is done. So let's move on to our second card. For this card, we'll be using the floral bouquet that we cut from the center of that background image. I'm going to start with a, an extra piece of paper and I'm going to be ink blending this dancing petals stencil onto the background using Laguna Bay ink. I'm using one of the large blending brushes to do this. These blending brushes, if you haven't used them, are so fantastic. You get a really dreamy blend every time. Now I'm gonna grab my trimmer and I'm gonna cut this down so that it will be a smaller focal point on the front of my card. I am just trying to figure out how I want to cut that floral bouquet, so I'm aligning it at the top and cutting it so that none of it hangs off at either the top or the sides of my stenciled cardstock. I decided I wanted to have a little bit of a trim, so I added some lined silver paper behind my stenciled piece, and now I've added a piece of that floral bouquet onto the bottom of my um, card face as well. I'm adding both of those with foam adhesive so that they will pop out and have a little bit of dimension and I decided to add that whole focal point onto a gray card face. So we have almost all of the pieces to put this card together so I just want to start um, adhering things. I've got my gray card face onto my card base and now I'm going to use foam adhesive to add that focal point onto the front of the card. Now I want to use another one of these word dies and this time I'm going to be using the For You word die and I'm doing the exact same trick that I did on the first card. That black piece of cardstock on the bottom has double sided adhesive on it. The background piece is cut out of silver foil so that it matches the trim that I have on my card. Now I'm removing the backing of that sticker paper and I'm adding the die on top of the background and using my poking tool to adhere it to the background piece. Now this uh, die is in two separate pieces, for and you, so I just made sure that I had them both adhered before I pulled everything apart. I added foam adhesive to the back and I'm just going to stick that on a diagonal into the center of my card and this card is done. So now let's take a look at both of the cards that we made today. This is a happy birthday card with that beautiful floral frame from the outer piece of that large background stamp. And this card used that inner floral bouquet from the large background stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. This Happy Hibiscus stamp and die bundle is available now at Tonic Studios USA and UK. Click the links in the description box below for more information.